Here we'll demonstrate how to generate a new prompt. We're on the Games tab, we'll hit Create, then New. You can think of the Create Game settings in three stages. Firstly, we have the base settings, then we have the prompt itself, and then we have additional settings. We'll start with the base settings. You can change the game length by adjusting the rounds, but also the writing timer and the voting timer. You can adjust the number of characters your students have to write per round, and you can change approval mode. This allows the game host to accept or reject replies before they are voted on. All of this impacts the estimated time. This time estimate is based on thousands of games which have been played and uses these game settings to give you the time estimate. Next we'll go to Edit Prompt. We can select this button. You have the option to edit the text. This is free text here. Or you can change it to random. You can also change the image. You can visit our gallery. You can upload your own image or you can just change to random. Like this. To go to the gallery, click into the button. Change the age group up the top. Select the category and pick an image. You can also star an image so that you can find it later on more easily. If you have starred a few images, you can see that this little button appears here and that will be your saved or starred images. So they're easy to find later on. You may have also noticed that I use these navigation buttons on the right hand panel. It's important that you use these buttons like this one here so that you can maintain the settings of your prompt. If you were to use the back button on your browser, you may lose your settings. These are round instructions. You can clear these or you can edit them. These round instructions or scaffolding is helpful giving students some direction with the piece of writing. One thing not to miss, if you want to generate a prompt quickly, you can just hit roll a prompt. And this will set everything to random and quickly give you a prompt. When we're ready, we can go to confirm those settings. From here, we can explore additional settings. A few notable items to mention, random names. This will give players aliases so that they are anonymous when they're writing. Speech to text has been a popular tool, especially for some younger classes. Also voting options. This determines the maximum number of peer responses that each student will see in the voting stage and you can explore all, all of these settings. If you're happy with the settings, particularly the round based settings and the timers, you can set these settings as your default so that they will appear every time you generate a new custom prompt. When you're ready, give your game a name and hit create. If you've already created a class, you'll end up in this page here. I'm not going to show you this section right now, for an explanation, watch our video on the benefits of creating a class. If you haven't yet created a class, when you click Create Game, you'll end up in a screen that looks like this. Here's our game code, which we can share with our students so that they can join the game. I'll copy that game code. We can see what a student might see. I'm on the home page. I select Play. Enter that game code and select join. As a student I've entered the lobby here I can select my avatar, I'll go back to the host page we can see the student has joined and the game is ready to start. You can have as many students as you like join the game in the same way. That's a quick example of how you can generate a new prompt and start a game.